I'm Jeremy Parsons and we're talking about the Sip Lodge over at Sip Niagara Festival like no other. Where else can you get a Gretzky cocktail and a straight razor shave by New York, New York on the shores of Lake Ontario? I can tell you, at Sip. So check it out, grab your tickets now, but let's start off with a cocktail because when I get a straight shave, I want a cocktail. We're gonna start off with a healthy two and a half ounces of Gretzky's Red Cask Whiskey. Next, I'm going to add in a half an ounce of simple syrup. Yeah, I made it myself. All you got to do, equal parts, sugar to water, reduce it by half, you're ready to go. Next, freshly squeezed lemon and lime because we care about what goes in to our cocktails. But we're making a spicy sour. So this is fresh from my garden and I'm adding in three pieces of crimson pepper. This tastes amazing. And I'm gonna shake up the sour. I'm gonna tell you why I'm doing it instead of stirring. We don't need that much. The alcohol and the friction excite the peppers and we get all of that beautiful essential oil into the cocktail, which gives you all of that flavor of the heat and none of the burn or burning your palate. We're gonna strain this over fresh ice. Next, I'm going to add in one more slice and let's see what we got. I like to add the seeds in just because it does keep the aromatics going. And right now, I can smell all the heat of the pepper. Oh. You get the sour, the sweet, the tingle on the palate. It's beautiful, just like the beautiful days we're hoping for with Sip Niagara. Let's pair this up with an amazing food. You can't be hanging out on the shores of Lake Ontario without some great eats. So now we're going to make an amazing mufalata sandwich slider. I know you've probably never had this before, but hey, we're going to do it right now. We're going to add on our herb and garlic cream cheese under our brioche buns. This is such an awesome sandwich. I had it for the first time in New Orleans. It's like, man, when you toast this up, it just hits your heart like nowhere else. So we're gonna do this next. Okay, I got some black forest ham. And you're like, Jared, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm gonna show you. We got some light mortadella. Yep, we're just throwing, making a big old pile. Next, I got some Genoa salami. Mm-hmm, I said that. Next, we've got some calabrese, cause we like the heat, come on, man. And then, look at this beautiful heirloom tomatoes. I'm gonna grab a uh, beautiful mandolin, some red onion. I'm still trying to kiss my wife, so we're not gonna put too much on there. And uh, we are gonna chop this bad boy up. And I'm gonna add this into a bowl. Now, here is the key, kids. Don't make it too chopped up. If it's too chopped up, it doesn't hold. So we just want to make it nice and coarse or rustic style and have a little bit chunkiness. What I did with the tomatoes, I allowed them to dry for at least 20 minutes on top of a bamboo board. This allows for the water to wick away because we don't want it to be too watery, obviously. So we're gonna add this into our bowl. And then next we're gonna add in our mufalata salad. Now, if you can't find mufalata salad, you know what? Grab some sliced olives, some pickled jalapenos, some veggies, whatever you want. The whole idea is to have like a nice little bit of herbaceousness. You just need a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of vinegar, and whatever kind of veggies you want. Everything is great. So we're gonna add in our own mufalata mix, pre-mixed, a good healthy dose because I love it. Cheddar cheese, Asiago, and Parmesan. And then a healthy dose of mayo. This is gonna be the nice little sort of glue that holds everything together because we don't want any slippage. Nobody likes slippage in sandwiches. So I'm gonna mix this up and then I'm gonna chop up a little bit of iceberg lettuce 
and then we're gonna spoon it right on. The reason why I'm doing this, if you spoon in your iceberg lettuce too soon, everything gets watery and nothing holds. So we're just gonna add that in as the last hero ingredient to make these beautiful little sammies. Okay, there we go. Well combined, not too combined. We're gonna chop this up. Dropping it in. So we're gonna be adding this beautiful concoction onto our gorgeous brioche rolls. Oh man, that looks so good. We're gonna pop this in the oven at 450, straight up on just a little cookie sheet. Biggest thing is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that there's some parchment paper on top of that cookie sheet. That way it's gonna wick away any of the little excess oil or moisture. We're gonna to top this up, but this looks delish. We're gonna pull them apart, and this is the perfect dish for any kind of lodge. Actually, it's perfect for any time. And here we go, guys. Boom, boom, boom. Let's top this up. Pop it in the oven, but we're gonna make a cocktail yet again because, hey, we've got a beautiful strawberry basil concoction to make for you. So here we go. In a shaker half full of ice, I've got some wing breads, keep on good. So this is Ice Storm. Oh man, it's smooth. It's a beautiful four grain vodka. So it's got a really nice, uh, mouthfeel to it and uh, great texture. I'm gonna add in two leaves of basil. Next, I'm gonna add in a full strawberry. We're gonna shake this bad boy up, pour it out. We're gonna add on some ginger. Again, this is a really nice mix. So strawberries are in season right now. Basil obviously is straight out of our garden. Look at that color. Just a little bit of ginger beer, and you got the best fresh tasting fall meal you've ever had. Great balance of spicy and sweet. It's awesome. So now we're gonna pop these guys into the oven, 450 for about 10 minutes, and we're good to go. Our Lodge Mufalata sandwiches just came out of the oven and they are gooey, gooey, delicious. And we're gonna finish off with an amazing espresso martini. So we're gonna be using the Maple Cask Wayne Gretzky Whiskey. That's right, an espresso martini with whiskey. Next, salted caramel. This tastes delicious. Gives it a nice little bit of creaminess and then hot espresso. You have to use hot espresso in order to be able to get that beautiful espuma and head on top. We're gonna to shake it up like we do. Oh, and look at that head. And that's purely from using hot espresso and shaking it with a little bit of rhythm. Boom. Oh, look at that perfect head on there. And of course, you have to add in the holy trinity. One, two, three. And that's the perfect way to end off your day. I'll see you over at Sipnaya. Mmm, delicious.